Recent health mandates may require you to capture different information about a visitor's vaccination status. This video shows how to set up the app based on best practices that we've seen in our customers across North America. The visitor is asked to identify their vaccination state. For example, fully vaccinated, where a visitor simply provides their contact information, any additional information you want, and then displays on the badge that they're fully vaccinated. Not vaccinated, where you still require the visitor to check boxes that say they will wear their face mask and obey distance and protocols, and also display on the badge that they are not vaccinated. The visitor can also decline to answer the vaccination question, in which case you'd still tell them to wear a mask and obey other protocols. Now let's take a quick look at what a visitor sees when they check into an app that's been set up to ask for vaccination status. The visitor selects their status after scanning a QR code, then provides contact information and answers entry questions. The entry badge is then also set up to show their vaccination status. Now let's see what happens if I check in as a non-vaccinated visitor. I still provide my contact information and answer entry questions, but then I must agree to terms to wear a face mask and other protocols. You then see my badge displays a status of not vaccinated. Site supervisors and admins also see the vaccination status from the real-time event viewer. The remainder of this video shows how admins can set up vaccination status questions. I'll start by adding a new check-in workflow and add a flow for fully vaccinated visitors. The workflow name is what the visitor will see when they check in. If you have Spanish-speaking visitors, you should make sure that you also set up the label in Spanish. You can then customize check-in questions and information for this flow. In this case, the fully vaccinated visitor will not be required to wear a mask or obey social distancing protocol, so I'll disable these terms. Copy the default badge and then edit its information. I want the badge to show the visitor's vaccination status, so I'll edit the name. I'll then disable the fields that I don't want to display on the badge. I then enable the checked in as field. This displays the user's selected entry flow. Once I save the custom badge, I'll enable that for use. I'll then customize my other vaccination status flows. I'll do this by copying my fully vaccinated flow and editing the name in both English and Spanish. I then enable the face mask and social distancing terms because this visitor is not vaccinated. I then want to create my final check-in flow for visitors who decline to identify their vaccination status. I'll do this by copying the not vaccinated flow. I'll update the name in both English and Spanish and then save my work. The final step then is enabling these flows for your sites and then disabling my prior visitor flow. This concludes our tutorial video. If you have any questions or issues with your site or setup, please email the SafeSite Check-In product team at support at safesitecheckin.com.